OK, so this is my brand new battery charger. This is the iCharger 3010B. Uh, and it's actually capable, as you can see written there, of putting out a thousand watts or a kilowatt of energy uh, into your battery pack. Now, I'm not sure there's going to be any small battery packs that are going to take that amount of charge uh, very happily. Uh, but when you get a bigger bank going, uh, especially using 18650 type cells, um, <coughs> that kind of power is very, very useful. Okay, so as for the name itself, the 3010B, what that stands for, uh, as many of you probably watching this will already know, is 30 amps, uh, 10 3.7 volt batteries in series. Another popular model of this is the, I think it's the 36, uh, which would only do 6 batteries in series. Um, the reason I went for this one is I'm planning to do an electric bike battery in the future and I just may need that higher voltage. Um, but I'm not too sure so I thought it would be safe and go for this one. So as you can see I'm currently charging up this uh, recycled laptop battery cell, 18650 lithium ion cell. Nearly done, uh, 4.19 volts, it's, so it's in the constant uh, voltage stage and the amperage there, 0.34 is starting to taper down. Um, it's it's a nice charger so far, I've only had it uh, a couple of days uh, but I've managed to have a bit of a play around with it, no problem so far. Um, a nice feature, uh, I think it's quite a good idea, is this external temperature sensor, you can see I've just sort of rested it on top of the battery. Um, it's not a particularly good thermal connection or anything like that, but I figure if that battery does decide to uh, go up in smoke, that uh, temperature sensor is probably going to notice uh, with it being sat right on top of it and hopefully the charger is going to shut it down automatically. Another fantastic feature of this charger um, which I actually think everything I charger make include um, is it comes with a, uh, a USB cable you can connect that into your uh, laptop so as this cell is charging it's been charging for quite a while now so I've got quite a bit of data uh, you can see on the laptop um, it logs everything. Um, a big list of uh, different things you can choose from down there. So different cells. If I was doing balance charging or anything like that, um, the temperatures. So that external temperature, as you can see, as I'm charging, starting to rise. Now as the current's coming down, the external temperature's starting to fall. Um, all seems pretty accurate. That's the internal temperature as well. It's a bit messy looking because it hasn't really changed much because uh, I'm not putting out a lot of current. Uh, but it's really handy, uh, especially for troubleshooting and things. Uh, especially with old 18650 batteries when you're trying to work out what state they're in. Uh, it's very, very useful. Uh, and it might just be quite handy in the future when I start building up bigger packs to keep a log of how things are performing and sort of document losses over time and things. As for actually connecting up the batteries, um, I've already got this one on. Obviously put the connectors the right way around on the end, correct polarity. I like to put, like you saw earlier, the temperature sensor on the top to try and keep track of any uh, large amount of heat output. If you had a, uh, a LiPo pack, like remote control type pack, plug in your balance leads into this port here. That's the remote temperature uh, sensor and that's the two main outputs. As I currently have this charger, I've got it powered from a uh, laptop type adapter, I don't know whether you can see that, put it that way a bit. <coughs> um, this is a 12 volt 5 amp charger, um, it's just a cheap, cheap thing off eBay, uh, it, it, it's good enough for now, um, until I feel like I need something else. <coughs> but with this being a 12 volt power supply, um, what that means is you cannot get the 1000 watt rating out of the charger. Um, you'll only do 500, I think it's 500 that it'll do on 12 volts. You need 24 volts to be able to do the 4000 watts if you want it to pump out a uh, proper amount of power. It does take quite a wide range of input voltage as well. It's 4.5, can't really see it, I'll read it out, 4.5 to 38 volts DC. Um, so it's quite useful, there's a, there's a lot of stuff you can power this from. Uh, which again is is good for that regenerative discharge if you're putting power back in the opposite direction through into whatever is on this side, whatever battery you have. So that was just a quick look at the uh, the iCharger 3010B. Uh, I might do a review, a proper review on it at some point. Um, I might also do another video looking at some of these special modes, uh, which are quite cool. 
as a motor driver, a foam cutter and internal resistance measurement. Um, but you could do a few cool things with these as well. So thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions or uh, anything you want to say, just feel free to leave a comment and I'll uh, try to get back to as many as I can. Other than that, thank you very much and see you later.